Hi, Brent Rollins here again with Spraylock Concrete Protection. One of the questions that we're asked most often is what is the difference between SCP's colloidal silica and silicates? Well, sodium, lithium, and potassium silicates have been on the market for quite some time, and they have their place in construction, but they are very different than colloidal silica, and they do different things. The first thing to understand is that Spraylock Concrete Protection, SCP, colloidal silica is a game changer. We're gonna talk about why it's a game changer today. We're going to actually demonstrate how colloidal silica, SCP's colloidal silica, can get deep into capillary pore space and enter the concrete deeply compared to what silicates typically do. Now, one of the things that we need to understand is that colloidal silica is a silicon dioxide molecule by itself. It doesn't have a metal attached to it. And because of that, it's a very small size. It's in the nano range of materials, typically below 100 nanometers. That might not mean a lot to some people. A human hair is about 70,000 nanometers in diameter, 70,000. So an average colloidal silica particle is smaller than an average human hair. So that's really, really tiny. That's important for two reasons. Number one, it allows the colloidal silica to access the pore space in concrete. Second, that very small size of, of colloidal silica gives it a tremendous amount of surface area that's available for reaction. The pozzolanic reaction is what happens. Now, we're not gonna go into great detail with the pozzolanic reaction today, but we are going to demonstrate the size that we're talking about here in a little bit. Silicates don't typically get into concrete the way colloidal silica does. The sodium, potassium, or lithium silicate is a solution that's different. Colloidal silica is a suspension. It's holding the silicon dioxide in suspension. There's actual particles. The solutions of the silicate metal solutions already have a metal bonded to the silicon dioxide, causing them to set off on the surface or near the surface of the concrete. So when you hear a silicate producer say that their products penetrate deeply, they're typically only talking about a quarter inch at the max. Whereas the colloidal silica, the least penetration we've seen in the laboratory on very, very dense concrete was an inch and a half on a four inch slab. So usually colloidal silica is going to go in much, much deeper, affecting the concrete in a larger zone. That's important to remember because it is a permanent fix or a permanent solution to the concrete problems of permeability that permeability can cause. So silicates stay near the surface, colloidal silica, gets deep into the concrete, affecting a wider zone and making it much less likely that water will be able to find a place to get past that interaction zone. So remember, colloidal silica is a game changer. It's tiny. Think of it as nano-engineered concrete when you're using colloidal silica. It's special, special concrete that can do some amazing things. So we're going to now demonstrate what we're talking about when we talk about how colloidal silica can get into the concrete. Here at Spraylock Concrete Protection, we like to have fun with what we do and when we explain the way our products work. So in this case, we have a clear cylinder that's going to be representing capillary in concrete. And we are going to use some other tools to show you the difference between particle sizes of various materials. So first thing I wanna show you is to explain how silicates work. Now the silicates begin to set off and at the top of the capillary position, they're going to seal that for a while. The very small particles that colloidal silica is made of allow the particles to access even the deepest and smallest capillary pore structures in the concrete. Colloidal silica reacts in the capillary pore structure, becoming part of the concrete and essentially filling the capillary void structure with more concrete. It can never be removed and never needs to be reapplied. So to sum it up, silicates are not colloidal silica. They're very, very different. They have their place in the market, but they behave differently and they do different things. When you hear the word crystalline additive or crystalline treatment, those typically refer to the silicates. So remember the difference between the two and please call us if we can help you figure out a way to use colloidal silica in your project to either manage moisture 
or to make your concrete last for a very, very long time. Save time and money while consistently delivering superior performance. Spraylock Concrete Protection. Superior Concrete.